They just taught an AI not only to answer questions, but to run your tools, plan your life, and literally build software for you, almost end to end. By the end of this video, you'll understand how Google's new Gemini 3 and its deep think mode could be the moment where AI stops being a fancy autocomplete and starts acting like an actual problem-solving partner. And wait for the part where an AI quietly runs a simulated business for an entire year without drifting off task. In less than two years, Google's Gemini models have gone from new multimodal experiment to touching billions of people every month through AI overviews, the Gemini app, and cloud tools. Now, Gemini 3 arrives as Google's most intelligent model yet, built to reason more deeply, understand text, images, and video natively, and power agents that can actually do things, not just talk about them. If Gemini 1 was about seeing more and Gemini 2 was about thinking better, Gemini 3 is about acting in the world, learning with you, building for you, and planning ahead on your behalf. Google has officially launched Gemini 3 Pro in preview, calling it the best model in the world for multimodal understanding and its most powerful agentic and vibe coding model so far. It's rolling out across the Gemini app, AI mode and search, Developer tools like AI Studio and Vertex AI and new experiences like the Google Anti-Gravity Agentic Development Platform. On top of that, there's a special mode called Gemini 3 Deep Think, an enhanced reasoning mode designed for the hardest problems, currently being tested with safety evaluators before coming to Google AI Ultra subscribers. On paper, the numbers are wild. Gemini 3 Pro hits a breakthrough, 1501 ELO on the LM Arena leaderboard, shows PhD-level reasoning on benchmarks like Humanity's Last Exam and GPQA Diamond, and sets a new state-of-the-art in difficult math with 23.4% on Math Arena Apex. DeepThink pushes those even further, and for example, reaching around 41.0% on Humanity's Last Exam and 93.8% on GPQA Diamond, plus 45.1% on the ARC AGI2 benchmark with code execution, which is all about solving novel, unseen challenges. And it's not just text. Gemini 3 Pro scores 81% on MMMU Pro and 87.6% on Video MMMU, along with 72.1% on Simple QA Verified, signaling strong multimodal reasoning and better factual accuracy across images and video. So what actually changed under the hood in human terms? Think of old-school chatbots as students who can only read one textbook at a time. Mostly text, maybe a static image. Gemini 3 is more like a grad-level researcher in a lab, surrounded by whiteboards, videos, diagrams, and code, and it can look at all of them at once. To reason about a problem, its architecture is natively multimodal, which means text, images, video, audio, and code aren't bolted on as separate features. They're first-class citizens in the same model, enabling cross-modal reasoning like watch this pickleball video and design a training plan. Now add the 1 million token context window. Instead of giving it a short prompt, you can feed entire academic papers, long video transcripts, dense documentation and code bases, and ask it to synthesize or visualize the whole thing for you. When Google talks about state-of-the-art reasoning, it basically means Gemini 3 is better at following multi-step chains of logic, holding more details in working memory, and avoiding the trap of confidently wrong guesses on tough benchmarks. DeepThink takes this further by letting the model think longer, exploring multiple reasoning paths and using tools like code execution to verify its own ideas on especially hard tasks, which is why you see jumps on things like ARCAGI2. But the really big shift isn't just the model, it's how it's being used as an AI agent. Instead of a passive chatbot waiting for you to type things, Gemini 3 is wired into tools, APIS, and even full development environments so it can plan, act, and then check its own work. Let's start with learning. Gemini 3 was designed from day one to synthesize information across formats, handwritten recipes, scanned PDFs, lecture videos, code repositories, and then turn all of that into interactive learning experiences. In Google's examples, it can take a stack of handwritten family recipes in multiple languages and turn them into a clean, shareable digital cookbook. Give it academic papers and long video lectures and it can generate code for interactive visualizations, flashcards, or even simulations that help you see the concept instead of just reading about it. It can even analyze gameplay videos like a pickleball match, spot weaknesses in your form, and generate a personalized training plan, a kind of AI coach that sees patterns in movement and space. Now, building. This is where Gemini 3 leans into vibe coding and agentic coding. It's not just spitting out code snippets. It's helping you design richer, more interactive web UIs and complex applications, often in a largely zero-shot fashion. 
It tops the Web Dev Arena leaderboard with an ELO of 1,487, scores 54.2% on Terminal Bench, 2.0 for Terminal Tool Use, and hits around 76.2% on SWE Bench Verified. All signals that it's getting better at acting like a real coding agent, not a glorified code search. You can build with Gemini 3 across Google AI Studio, Vertex AI, the Gemini CLI, and third-party tools like IDE plugins. But the most interesting piece is Google Anti-Gravity. Anti-Gravity is an agent-first development environment where Gemini 3 agents aren't just in a chat sidebar. They're given direct access to your editor, terminal, and browser, and elevated to a dedicated surface inside the IDE. These agents can autonomously plan and execute complex software tasks, like building a feature or a whole app, while validating their own code through tools like browser-based computer use and integrated testing. If normal AI coding feels like pair programming with autocomplete, anti-gravity is more like managing a small team of junior devs who explain what they're doing, show their artifacts, and can be corrected or redirected at any time. Finally, planning. Gemini 2 kicked off what Google called the agentic era, and Gemini 3 doubles down with long horizon planning that can stay on task for much longer sequences of actions. On Vending Bench 2, a benchmark where a model manages a simulated vending machine business over a full year. Gemini 3 Pro maintains consistent tool usage and decision making without drifting into nonsense, driving higher returns over the entire simulation. Translate that to real life and you get agents that can, for example, book local services, manage multi-step workflows like travel planning, or organize your inbox end-to-end -end while still staying under your guidance and control. Google AI Ultra subscribers can already start testing these agentic capabilities through Gemini Agent in the app, with more integrations promised across Google products. Of course, when you give an AI more power to act, not just talk, the stakes go up. Google describes Gemini 3 as its most secure model yet, claiming reduced sycophancy, improved resistance to prompt injection, and better protection against misuse in areas like cyber attacks. It has gone through the most extensive safety evaluations of any Google AI model so far, including internal testing under the company's Frontier Safety Framework and external evaluations with bodies like the UK AI Safety Institute and independent firms such as Apollo, Vaultus, and Dreadnought. But even with that, this is still very new territory. Long horizon agents, deep reasoning modes like DeepThink, and tight integration with tools mean new failure modes will almost certainly emerge in the real world. So for now, it's safer to treat these systems as extremely capable assistants and collaborators, not autonomous overlords, and to keep humans firmly in the loop for high-impact decisions. Gemini 3 isn't AGI, but Google is very explicit that this is another step on the path. A model that can reason more deeply, see more of the world, and act more independently across software and services. With more Gemini 3 models planned, DeepThink rolling out after further safety testing, and anti-gravity bringing agentic coding into mainstream developer workflows, the next few years of AI may look less like chatting with a bot, and more like orchestrating a swarm of specialized digital workers. The big question isn't just how smart can these models get, but how do we design our tools, jobs, and education systems around agents that can learn, build, and plan almost like a teammate? So, what do you think? Is Gemini 3 the moment AI truly graduates from autocomplete into something that feels like shared intelligence? Or just another benchmark bump on the way to something much bigger? If you've already tried Gemini 3 or Anti-Gravity, drop your experiences and concerns in the comments, especially where it surprised you or where it failed in interesting ways. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.